Hey guys, my name is Shane and first and foremost, I want to say thank you for the 1000 subscribers and today I will be teaching you guys how to make a rap song using FL Studio. So if you have FL Studio, open it up and you got into the screen. So the most important thing you want to do is right click on the file, click new from templates and then you're going to click basic 808. We don't want to click basic 808 millimeter, which is basic 808. So we're going to be using this okay, basic FL Studio stuff. First, you're going to change your BPM to 90 here okay, and then you're going to be making basic rap beat. Just a very simple basic rap beat. And then what we're going to do, we're going to mix things up. Okay, we don't want to listen to the same beat over and over and over again. So we're going to click right here you're gonna extend this part you can extend from using this screen okay just click here hold drag and then extend to add beats okay that's it basic rap beat rename it to drums after that create new pattern so this new pattern we're gonna name it lead gonna make simple lead I'm just gonna use VST that can be found in FL Studio which so we're gonna use armor on this and then uh, gonna change to okay we're gonna pick hot lead I mean you can just basically create your own preset, create your own sound, create your own lead or you can use any other lead you like but for this video I'm, I'm gonna be using hot lead okay first we're gonna rename this into lead and then we're gonna change the color and then we're going to piano roll so let me create a beat first let me create sound first and then I'll be seeing you guys after it's done Hello and welcome back. So this is the beat that I've created. It's not that hard, it's a simple beat. Wait. Okay, that's it. So this is the beat the sound I'm gonna be using for this song so you can hear you can listen that it's kind of too lead <laughs> too high for a normal rap song so we're gonna be fixing the sound a little bit change There you have it. So this is the the sound I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna right click this one and then we're gonna clone it. We cannot use this one sound. We're gonna use multiple sounds so it sounds different. We're gonna stack the layer. So for this one, I'm gonna press it, re replace it with cy citrus or citrus. And then we're gonna use different sound. For this song, I'm gonna pick. Okay, so I'm gonna use this sound uh, called silk poly up. I don't know if you guys have it, but it's on Citrus. Citrus. Okay, I'm gonna rename it to rename it to lead two, and then we're gonna copy paste to all the sound, and then combine we get this sound. Okay, nice. After that, we're gonna send both of them to mixer. So we're gonna. If you have FL Studio 20, you're gonna click the detail setting and then just click track. It will automatically put your track into a mixer track. So, so we gotta separate. Okay, and then we're gonna lower the volume because we don't want to be loud. So we're gonna uh, sidechain both of this uh, lead into a free, like empty mixer track. Like, all you gotta do is right click here this little button here right click and then route to this track only same goes to 
tip number two route to this track only and then we're gonna rename that track a lead M as in lead master what this actually does is that both of this lead are gonna use this rack track right here you can reverb you can put sidechain on it and then both of this track will have the same EQ will have the same reverb so for instance okay you gotta put camera crusher okay for instance and then both of this lead here will have the same camera crusher sound see and if you unclick this thing you see you see both of them have the same plugin okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here we're gonna put EQ we're gonna remove the unwanted sound so right click here and click 40 plus 18 Hertz cut kilohertz cut and then from here you're gonna hold it until you reach an 160 hertz because we don't want any bass bassy low medium sound on this lead so and then we're gonna put reverb because we don't want both of them have the same reverb for this particular lead i'm gonna put reverb a little bit right here and then let me listen Okay, that is enough for my liking. You can do whatever reverb according to your likings. And then I'm gonna have I'm gonna put same thing, but with a warmer color and a higher room. And then uh, separate this to stereo. And this one to a little bit to mono. I don't want too much. I mean, I like the sound. Okay, we're gonna put sound goodizer. Everyone has it. It's on FL Studio. You're gonna use it, but you cannot move above this area right here. Like maximum, you can put us right there because we don't want it to be too distorted. So we're gonna put right here for this lead. But I'm gonna put EQ a little bit here. Remove around 190. Increase the mid and the high a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then right here we're gonna do the same. But instead of high and mid, we're gonna lower the high and mid. We're gonna increase the bass a little bit. Okay, that's how I want. That's how I like it. And then we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna listen if it fits. Okay, after that, we're gonna create bass. Creating bass is not that hard, it's very easy actually. So you're gonna click here, click 3x OAC, easy bass. So you're gonna remove the cost to about zero, use uh, sub and then increase the volume a little bit about there and then you can listen if you have headphone you can listen you can hear it so I recommend you to use your headphone when you're creating tracks creating music so we rename it to bass uh, welcome back so I have to put SD card on my phone. <laughs> There's not enough space. Sorry. Okay, let's get back to the video. After that, we're gonna click track, put it in mixer track. As usual, we're gonna use wave shaper to distort the bass a little bit. So what I like to do, I put in on fastest number two. Reduce this thing a little bit, like lower it down until you find the sweet, sweet spot. Okay, don't worry if it's too high, like too distorted, because you're gonna fix that with a little bit of EQ. So we're gonna remove the high bit, high end. Okay, so that's the bass that I want. And the most important part, if it's not, if it's a bass, anything that has to do with a bass, you're gonna put it on mono, 100% mono. 
full fully down mono because you don't want it to be in stereo or you don't want it to be in between you're gonna put it on 100% mono same as kick I forgot to tell you I'm gonna put it on 50% mono because you don't want it to be fully mono okay so, and then what we're gonna do we're gonna find what chord our lead is so our lead is on D we're gonna use and since our lead is on D we're gonna use bass on the D note what I, what I like to do is actually put in like each layer like that and then we're gonna put it right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the kick we're gonna put it exactly on the kick beat like for example the kick is on the first part okay so we're gonna put it on the first part until the snare like that if you know what I mean if you understand I don't know how to explain I'm, I'm a very bad at explaining stuff because I'm suck at it so I'm gonna do is like that we're just gonna keep repeating until we find until we finish it so we're gonna copy and paste it and then we're gonna find another one so we're gonna using D, E, F and A okay and then we're gonna lower it, lower it into one octave one octave lower, lower. actually I'm gonna put high a little bit okay nice and then we're gonna listen it with the lead lower the little bit, bit. Just a simple rap beat songs. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you complex thing. If you wanna be complex, more complex, you can add anything you want. But for this tutorial I'm gonna do a very simple rap song. And then we can put in hat. It's very important. Uh, the the ch -ch 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 sound is very important in rap song. So what we're gonna do is put it right there, increase it a bit, then gonna listen. You can do what you want actually. So I'll be back in a few minutes, second after I'm done. Okay, we're back. So I'm done with the hat. And then this is how it sounds like. Uh, yeah and then we're gonna put in right uh, so we're gonna click since I got a lot of stuff we're gonna use what is available for us and okay, we're gonna use this right put in on number three same as hi-hat so what we're gonna do we're gonna reduce a little bit so it's not too long Okay, yeah, okay. and then after we're almost done, we're gonna EQ the kick. As usual, re remove around 20 to 18. Uh, this one. And then we're gonna increase the mid. Okay, 
you don't want to increase the high because we want to increase the mid for this rap song and then for the clap we don't want the bass but as usual we just around 200 hertz reduce the high a little bit increase the mid no no we're gonna increase the high okay okay that's it and then after we're done so for this part we're gonna do side chain so for this part we're gonna use fruit delimiter so put two fruit delimiter and okay for the first part we're gonna use for we're gonna use our kick and then for the second we're gonna use our clap we're gonna side chain both of them so what we're gonna do we click on this kick track right click here and then click on side chain to this track same as clap for this song because i'm using clap so i'm gonna side chain the clap if you're using snare you're gonna side chain your snare when you're gonna do is right click side chain to this track and then for the lead part we're gonna right click and then root to this track only for the mastering part i hope it's not too complicated but just follow what i do okay same with the bass right click root to this track only so what we're gonna do now is click on the first fruit delimiter go to calm and then right click here side chain insert number two since that is our kick and then we're gonna increase lower the knees to about there and then increase the ratio to I mean yeah increase the ratio to about there so I think you can you can mess around with it so what I'm for this for one I'm I'm usually using ratio to about there and then you need to about there same goes with number two we're gonna go to calm insert number three since that is our clap so reduce the need trash threshold about there reduce the ratio to about there so what this actually do is side chain your bass or your lead to the kick and clap or snare sound which is like this you see it turns down every time the kick and the clap starts to pop up uh, the sounds the sound of the bass lowered like side chain stuff This is our pre-chorus before our chorus before our hook. Mm. And there our hook. simple easy and then after you're almost done you go to, to master track go click mixer go to master track we're gonna put eq and then we're gonna right click here 20 to 18 cut because we don't want that sound because our ears can only 20 to 20 kilohertz but because we're using 18 cut we're gonna uh, click this thing it's gonna be around 18 hertz so we're gonna hold this and push it further right until we reach to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz so we're gonna remove any sounds beyond and below 20 hertz that's it that's how easy it is to make a rap song so that's it that's our rap song and for and for now i'm gonna create a lyric for this song i'm gonna finish it up so i'll be back after i've done singing and creating the lyric see you guys in a few minutes so guys welcome back and after making the lyric and then recording it and put it in fl studio so in the end this is my rap song so thank you guys for watching subscribe leave a like if you like this video hoping to see you guys in the next video goodbye i like roti chana oh this i do not know nasi lama overpriced tapi rasa sungguh nice i like me goreng Champo dengan ayam goreng Keep it looking cause I'm not some saying Give me money cause I'm a poor man Give me money, 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 give me money